YouTube, what's happening, man? It's your boy Vontae from Avis and back with another video, man. You know what I'm talking about. We coming out with all bangers, man. But today, as you're gonna see from the top, and we're gonna talk about why I bought a Hellcat instead of a Scat Pack. But before we get to that, you know I gotta give y'all that cold start. Straight out of the cold start. Gotta give y'all that cold start, man. You know what I'm talking about? We gotta do the cold start with the red key. I mean, we have to do it. You know what I'm talking about? We have to do it. Y'all gotta get the cold start. You know what I'm talking about? to you why I got a Hellcat instead of a Scat Pack. And this ain't me knocking Scat Packs at all. It's just gonna be me explaining why I got a Hellcat instead of a Scat Pack. That's all. YouTube is early in the morning. Early in the morning. Come on, give me something to eat, though. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. We in the cat hell, hell cat. You know what I'm talking about? We trying to go up all 2021. No cap. No cap. All 2021. That's what we on. All 2021. We're trying to go up. <clears throat> yes, sir. But nah, man, so yeah, check me out, man. Yeah, like I said from the title of the day, we're gonna talk about, people ask me, you know, why did I get a Hellcat instead of a Scat Pack? You know, why you just didn't get the cheaper car, mod it out, make it fast, yada, yada. And I'll explain why, man, you know. <clears throat> but first off, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. You know what I mean? Because I'm definitely going on one the rest of the year. I told y'all I was slacking because the weather was bad, but we in the money maker for the rest of 2021, and we're gonna give you some good content. You know what I'm talking about? But anyway, yeah, man. So in my opinion, the Sky Packs, lovely, lovely vehicle, fast. You know, good sound, worth every penny. You know what I mean? They're good. In in my in my opinion, you can do more. Like as far as adding adding to the um, interior exterior, like say if you wanted a um, sunroof, etc. You know, if you were to build that car brand new, you can get that car for you know just not a wide body scat pack, but just a regular uh, body scat pack. You could probably get it built how you want for forty two to forty five thousand, which is very 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 affordable. You know what I mean? That is very 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 affordable and <clears throat> don't get me wrong i was thinking about going that route i thought about just saying you know forget it you know what do i need with this high horsepower car when i can just build one brand new from the factory for 45k uh you know what i mean i was gonna go that route uh, and i was gonna get a 2019 model uh before you know they came out with the 2021 models i was gonna do that I was gonna go that route, but you know, I was sitting there and I was, you know, doing all my research. And you know, I was researching on YouTube, checking everybody out, seeing what they was doing, you know. And I never go with what everybody do, but I always want to see what everybody, you know, went through, how they do it, why they do it. And, you know, I like to bundle everything up, and I like to go off my own, you know, on, on what I'm gonna do. But like I said, the Scat Pack Fast Car, 485 horsepower. I think it's like. 420 or 30 some pound feet of torque the thing is quick you know what i mean for a natural aspirated motor the thing is quick all right it's fast but the downside in getting a scat pack they are heavy 
just like a Hellcat. They are super heavy. So the competition level for racing or, you know, anything like that, you put yourself at a disadvantage having a heavier car. Now, granted, your motor's bigger than the 5.0 Mustang or the 6.2 Camaro, but you gotta remember that you're a heavier car. So just because your motor's bigger don't mean that you're gonna be faster. So not only that, you also have to put in play the fact that when it comes to modifications on a scat pack, it's really hard to mod a scat pack. People say, no, you can mod anything you want. You know, yeah, you can. But as far as, like say I have my Hellcat now, I can, you know, throw a simple E85 tune on it. Uh, you know, probably I would recommend, you know, doing bigger injectors. So I would probably do 1300cc injectors. And then I would do a um, upgraded fuel pump. You see what I'm saying? But those are some minor upgrades to add 100, 200, possibly 300 horsepower if I'm pushing it, you know what I mean? But you can easily add 100 to 150 horsepower E85 tune on these cars and not have a single problem, as long as you get the tune done right. And you go get a scat pack, and you get to trying to upgrade every, you get to trying to, you know, add more power, you have to upgrade everything. And by everything, I mean everything. If not, you will blow that motor up. So, you know, it's just dollar for dollar, you get, you get your dollar's worth stock out the scat pack if you wanted to just have fun in it. If you wanted to be competitive, if you wanted to, you know, uh, look good, be competitive, and you wanted to, you know, be top of his class plus other classes, then you have to mod it. I mean, you have to spend more money. And you know what I mean? It's like, it's at the end of the day to me, it's really not worth it because if I'm gonna buy a brand new car, why do I automatically have to start modding it out? You know what I mean? It kind of defeats the purpose of getting a brand new car. And that's just, that's just my opinion on it, you know? And also I was thinking like, man, you know, at the end of the day, you know, if say you go to trade it in, you know, well, one, depreciative value on it is going to be very, 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 very screwed up for the simple fact you bought it brand new. You know what I mean? So you're going to take that hit right away, and that's just how it's going to be. But it's brand new at the end of the day. So a brand new car is always going to be a brand new car. You go get a used Hellcat, you know what I mean? You, you're, getting, you're already getting what someone else got messed over for. Now, you always gotta take into account the miles driven on it, one owner, two owner, three owners, you know, you don't wanna go get a three, four year old car that's already had two or three owners, you know what I mean? That that just tells you a lot, you know? Usually a one owner is usually an older older person, in my opinion, I'm not saying that's a fact. It's just from my experience, a one owner vehicle's usually just been an old guy who had it, kept it, or he was a, a more mature person and wasn't a young kid that just beat, beat the crap out of it, you know what I mean? So. You just gotta vary all your options, you know what I mean? But I figured the better buy for me would be a used Hellcat. As long as the miles were low, it was a one owner. And I know for a 100% fact that the Carfax was real, you know what I mean? And and that's all I, you know, that's all I had to go off of and I was happy, so. Chill out, look cat. Chill out, look cat. Look here, cat. <laughs> Chill out, look here, cat. You know what I'm talking about? But, uh, yeah, man, that's, that, that's my opinion on it, you know? But say you're like a, a woman and you're in the cars, you know, and you want, you want something that roar, go a little quick. Scat Pack is perfect for you. You know what I mean? That's perfect. You ain't trying to compete. You ain't trying to, you know what I mean? So you get that power, you get that look, you get that sound, and, you know, you, you're going to love and enjoy the car. Say you're a kid that, or say you're like, between the ages of 18, 25, you know what I mean? And you ain't about competing. You just want to look good, sound good. It's the same case for you. You know what I mean? But me, I'm on a competitive level as far as I just, I want to be able to compete, you know, if I take it to the track. You know, I want to be able to, you know, have a chance, you know what I mean? Without having to sit here and go all out and mod out my car and add all this, you know, money into it just for it to, you know what I mean, still be a scat pack. Because at the end of the day, when you go trade it in, you just put 20 grand in the upgrade and it's still a scat pack. That's how a dealership look at it. Regardless of what you put on there, it's still a scat pack. Well, 
I go trade or sell my Hellcat or I go get my Hellcat up, well, guess what? It's the name, Hellcat. So regardless of whatever they say, it's done to it. At the end of the day, it's still a Dodge Charger Hellcat. So I have a better chance of getting rid of my Hellcat than I do a Scat Pack. You see what I'm saying? And I also got my Hellcat for a good deal. That's the only reason why I got it. I got it for $51,000. 13,000 miles on it, you know what I mean? It was very hard to find. I had to drive seven hours. I had to go to St. Louis to get it, but it was worth it. And, you know, I enjoy it, you know what I mean? But in my opinion, that's just the minor things on the reason why I won't get, um, I didn't get a scat pack for us getting a Hellcat. I had to get that Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit, you know what about? Chicken biscuit be killing the game, man. Can't even lie. Can't even flex. Can't even front. Me. Be killing the game. No cap. I stay all bully like a D-boy you can't hold me. Oh, man. Oh, time, man. God never stops. God never stops. Stop YouTube, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. But yeah, man. I don't know, man. I, if I if, if I had to choose though, if I couldn't like afford, I really would have got a scat pack. I wouldn't have had a problem with it, you know. But since I had credit, you know, I had down payment, whatever. I'm gonna hit it with top grade, you know, top tier. Good morning. Good morning. So that you can follow me. Huh? So that you can follow me. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. What area code is 870? Arkansas. Don't go Arkansas. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Check me while I got my Instagram name. My Hellcat. So you can follow me. Like that. <laughs> but yeah, man. Have Better buy for me, in my opinion, in my situation, was a Hellcat. Could be different for others, you know? But if you can get a used one for low 50s, you know what I mean? You'd be paying the extra $5,000 for a used car for, you know, 300 more horsepower. You know what I mean? That's that's a lot to make 300 horsepower. And for the people who know cars, they know. It could take a bit of money to make 300 horsepower. If you can get that, you know, stocked in the car, then you ain't got nothing to worry about. But everybody's different. Everybody's situation different. It's just mine, you know what I mean? But, yeah, man, we got a few, um, we got a few mods coming in the mail, man. I've been waiting. Everything's been on back holder. I got my carbon exhaust tips, my cold air intake, and, um, my JLT oil catch can. So, I'm a, uh, I'm a D, DYI video on all those so i'm gonna do it myself and you know show you guys how to do it it's not hard easy little modification so i want to hear that uh supercharger wine a little more and i want my car to look a little better with those uh big tips coming out so yeah man <clears throat> but uh yeah youtube i'm gonna drive home man i get back to you when i get back to the crib